All right, so this this one's pretty cool. This haircut tutorial is going to be pretty cool. And the reason why I say that is because I have a client that sat down my chair, hands me a picture, and it happens to be of a haircut that Pacino's did back in the day. And I remember being in barber school seeing these pictures and stuff. And, you know, this is when Pacino's was kind of like blowing up. If you don't know who the guy is, um, he's a barber out of Miami, especially in my day when I was in, in, in barber school. A lot of barbers looked up to him. Today he has products in Targets, I believe in California and in New, in the New York area. And he's doing big things. Some people hate him, some people love him. I personally believe the guy is, is a big, should be a big inspiration to anyone. He's a pioneer, he's done so much. Whether you hate him or love him, you gotta respect him. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. This is my take on a Pacino's haircut. Remember, different texture of hair. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Guys, my birthday is on Christmas, and I'm trying to get to 100K by then. We are like 74, I believe, around around 74. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. 245 headlines, let's get it. All right, shout out to my client for letting us uh, do this haircut on him today. And of course, we're going to start off with balding with the outliner blade on my Andy ZRs. And he already had this haircut previously, so I don't have to like, I don't have to put the line or anything like that. I can already see it. And you guys can see he has he has dry a little bit of a dry scalp thing, and a lot of times it's from shampooing too much. If you guys don't know that, it's from shampooing too much, because shampoo it takes away the oil and stuff from your scalp that helps keep it moisturized. So if you're shampooing every day. And you're wondering why you have a little bit of dry scalp. There's your reason. So these are the, these are the steps. Like I, I pretty much open it up three times. I cut, open it, cut, open it, and then open all the way. And it should be blended by then. If not, you you uh, do the same steps in reverse. And, and, and get it blended but it's that simple and we're using the Babyliss Lithium FX I did a recent review on them I know a lot of you guys were talking about how um, Conair has a uh, has the same model you know it's the same company pretty much Conair owns Babyliss I'm not quite sure if it's the same clipper I mean a lot of times just like car companies they'll use the same shell the same um, frame and make and make it a clipper um i think that's what's going on with this nonetheless it's like 35 bucks for the Conair versions i'll order them i'll check them out see if they're similar but i got a feeling it's gonna be a little bit different i got a feeling it's gonna be a different cutting blade um different uh uh less powerful motor so we'll see i mean these these companies these are these are big companies I, i'm sure they wouldn't do something like that man like to, to mark up the same clipper from 35 bucks to 100 dollars. i don't know they can't be that stupid all right so this is the number one guard and it's all the way open i'm gonna go up uh quite a bit a little, little more than an inch just kind of knocking down both And I'm kind of ignoring where this line is um, and just going that inch up that a little bit more than an inch up because I think a one open is dark enough to uh, to keep that that line um, really showing and then still being able to blend to the to the bottom portion of that line and it'll still look good so now it's closed and we're going all the way around just beneath where we left off with the one open a lot of people ask me if I flick a lot I don't flick a lot I just move the clip up and down I'm um, here um, right where the line is I'm going with a number one um, closed it and it's number one closed is pretty much the same as a number two guard against the green I'm just cutting down so that it'll lay so that when we put that line in it, it pops Mm -hmm. 
Right here we have the number zero guard and we're going right underneath where we left off with the number one closed. So we started off blending up, now we're blending down. Now we're just going to meet everything into the middle. About where the number zero guard is, is at. And whatever's left, that if you know if there's any type of bolt, we're gonna knock it out with the with the half or the or the the blade all the way open with no guard, and that'll bring everything together. You'll see what I'm talking about. I went back here with the number one close, just because I, I I created a little bit of a of a line with that number zero guard. So we're just gonna take it out real quick with the number one close. Nothing wrong with doing that guys, we all make mistakes and that's part of trial and error and, and, and fixing it, not just letting it, leaving it like that and on to the next one, on to the next customer. So this is what I was talking about guys, the blade open, no guard, and this is going to bring everything together. In the Babylon's review, I talked about the guards and how they fit, and somebody like got at me because I, I said that the the double magnetic guards fit, but I showed a little bit of a sliding action, and you know they were like, oh, they don't fit. But you guys see, see, I'm cutting with them, and they're not coming off. So in my eyes, it works. And I think that's the 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 defining factor why I like. These Babyliss is better than the wall magic clips, the cordless ones. So right here we're going to start cleaning up this line with the wall detailer trimmers. We'll line up the top part of the line and then we'll line up the bottom. And we'll clean it up. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, the bottom part, because I'm going to clean that up real good with the razor. And shout out to my cousin Tito for this beat. I really like this beat. You can, you guys can check out all his work, all his instrumentals. He, you know, he lets you download them for free on his SoundCloud. Link will be in the in the description below. He has like a right here where I'm lining up underneath it. He has like a calic there. So we're going to lower that down. We'll probably take a one or one open to it. Um, and it's going to look like I'm going with the grain because I'm going to be cutting down. But because it's a cow look, you're going to have to hit that every direction to really get it even, as you can see here. Yeah, so I went with the number one guard open. Right, we're picking it out. You can, you you know, some of the barbers in the shop, they'll spray spritz and blow dry it to kind of give it some more hold when you're shaping it. But pick it out. Right here, I'm doing the number two with the grain just to get it to um, to um, transition a little bit better with, with the number two below it. But we're going to pick it out. 
and you know generally from a number two against the grain with this texture here you can go straight to freehanding so here we are with freehanding we're shaping it like a slope using mirrors use the mirrors you know to make sure that it's, it's going you're forming it in the shape that's that you want it from all angles and I, I you know you can have if you're a little scared you can have your clipper all the way open the blade open and shape it gives you a little bit of more room for error but I, I you know I rock with it closed I, just because I feel comfortable with it closed at this point in my career and I like to remove you saw I was shaping like right next to the where the part is I, I like to remove hair there just so you can see the part a little bit better And the babblers, the coilers babblers, they do a good job of shaping. Feels really good. See, we got the slope action going. And I keep the pick in my hand just in case, you know, um, you can pick throughout, throughout um, forming it because a lot of times you form it, you pick it out, and it's like way longer in some parts. So you can pick it out a few times as you're, sh as you're um, forming the slope, just to make sure it's a nice, tight um, shape. Alright, so there's some oil sheen for his scalp, give it some moisture. You can see that the dryness goes away almost like instantly. And uh, once again, guys, show love to the shave gel. This is my product, my shave gel. And uh, everybody who's ordered, man, I appreciate all the support. It's been going really well. The feedback has been phenomenal. And this is what I use to prep the client. Don't need to add any water um, to start passing the straight razor. And everybody keeps asking about this black straight razor. This is the prototype for Tomb 45's official straight razor. It will be coming out soon. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know when it when it's out. And man, I appreciate everyone, everyone who has asked. Just you guys, you know, um, showing interest in it. It's humbling to me. Appreciate y'all. Oh, and I'm using the, the blade that I'm actually using with the straight razor. The, the handle is uh, the Astra's. I'm using the Astra brand. Really good brand. And, you know, everything that I that I put in these videos, I add a link below. You don't have to buy it from there. But it gives you an idea. You can click on them. You can see what it, um, what it actually is, what the prices are. Go to your local barber supply and buy them. Buy them on my Amazon link. I don't care. But they are there for you in the description box. As you can see, when I'm using the straight razor, I use a lot of the corner. That's why I like, you know, the contrast of being able to see the blade with the black actual handle. Um, I use a lot of the corner and the heel, so like the head and the heel with the blade. So I put a little bit of hair part. This could be gel. This could be lotion. This could be whatever you want. Just to add a little bit of of um, of hold and kind of just lay the hair down and get it to say how you want it. A little bit of curl sponge action just to finish it off. And it's funny because people who sit in the in the waiting area when they see me do pop out this curl sponge, everybody be wondering what is going on. But it works pretty good, man. I wish I wish I would have thought of the curl sponge. Just 
doing some last minute touches. Cause after you style hair stems to you know stick out and stuff. And there it is. There is my rendition of uh, old Pacino's cut. Hope you guys like it. Different texture of hair. But I appreciate you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, smash that like button. Catch you on the next one.